Your past need not define you, nor your present direct you. See, there are some of us today, we're, we're, we're feeling overwhelmed. In some ways, we're hopeless. There are others that are despairing because when you look at your past, you feel like, man, that it's, uh, it, it's pretty much a done deal, that you're going to be haunted for the rest of your life for some stupid decisions. And you need to know right now that there's nothing that you've done that is too great or too serious or too beyond the reach of God's love for you. And some of us, it's, it's not so much our past, it's just the present. We're like overwhelmed. Emotions maybe are betraying us. It could be your circumstances are very challenging. Maybe you're in the midst of a relational crisis. Maybe you're concerned and worried about a child or a friend. And I want you to hear what Jeremiah the prophet declared about who God is and who God wants to be in your life. It's found in Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. And he goes on and he says, The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. I love that. His mercies are new every morning. You have a clean slate today. You can live like it's a new beginning. Why? Because God's love is steadfast. It is not determined by what you did or what you're doing. It continues to pursue you and give you hope. You see, my friend, today is an opportunity for you to be a walking miracle and demonstrate what it looks like to let God be your portion, to let God be your fulfillment, for God to be your hope. Hey, I believe in you, I'm praying for you, and know this, my friend, you are not alone.